guys, it's Kyra and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we will be reviewing and trying out the new Urban Decay Born to Run palette. You guys saw me open it up in my recent PR unboxing um, and I have been dying to try it out since. You guys, look, just look at this color range. Like, can you get an even more beautiful palette than this like I feel like it's so gorgeous it has such a nice array of shades and a really nice collection of matte shades and shimmer shades and I feel like looking at this collection of colors like I I just get so inspired to create so many different looks with so many different combinations because I feel like there's so much to do with it. Alright guys, so we are up close and personal right now and it is time to jump into the eyes. As you can see, I went ahead and done the base of my face already. I went ahead and did foundation, highlight, contour, or bronzer. I don't really contour anymore. So, um, highlight, bronzer, and my brows. And for those of you guys who do care, I did try out the Maybelline Brow Tint Pen again today on my brows and Y'all, I'm getting the hang of it. And I really love that bra product. It's just so bomb. Now on to today's Urban Decay goodie. So, I'm gonna start off and prime my lids with the Urban Decay Shadow Primer. Um, you guys know this is an oldie, but a goodie. I love their primer because it is completely transparent. It has no tint, so it's perfect for all skin tones. I'm gonna take a small stippling brush and just blend this in. And as we all know, we all need shadow primer. You know, it could be from any brand, but a good primer is what's gonna help make your shadow last all day. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that with a little bit of translucent powder. I'm gonna take the RCMA No Color Powder and just apply this all over. If you guys saw my makeup packs, you guys know why this is important. If you haven't seen it, then you should go watch it to see why it's important. So here is a closer view of the palette. As you can see, as mentioned before, they have such a nice collection of matte and shimmer shades. I love whenever companies actually add in the right amount of matte shades because I hate palettes where it's more shimmer than it is matte or where there's not just not enough matte shades to begin with because it's really really hard to complete an entire look without the right amount of matte shades if that makes sense. I feel like so many colors are calling my name like I feel like Hailride and Steel Shot and Baja and Wild Tar. I feel like everything is calling my name but I definitely know that I want to use Steel Shot and Hailride. Uh, Steel Shot is this really 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 pretty um, soft coral shade and Hell Ride is a really deep, kind of like a fuchsia almost. So I'm gonna take a Morphe M519 brush and just go in with Steel Shot. And hallelujah, this palette is not super messy. This little bit powdery, you can see up there, just a little bit though, but there's not fallout all over the place, which is glorious, okay? So I'm just applying this to my crease area. So whenever I'm reviewing shadows, I look for a couple different things. First of all, you guys know I'm really big on color payoff and color transfer. So if the color looks like one thing in here and then you apply it on your eye and it, the color doesn't pick up or if it looks like a whole different shade, um, that's something that I really note. As you can see, obviously, Steel Shot is transferring properly, which is amazing. Like I'm definitely getting the color that I saw and the palette is what I'm getting on my lid. So this again, applying it on the outer portion of my crease and then just blending it in towards, I guess at the inner brow bone and basically in towards my nose here. Another thing I look for is how easy the shadow blends out and this is blending out so well. Like I don't have any kind of patchiness or anything over there on the sides. It looks really, really nice and blended. And we have very, very, very little fallout on the palette and under my eye. Actually, I have no fallout under my eye. So, so far, so good. So I now go in with a Morphe M433 brush. It is a uh, more dense blending brush. And go in with the shade Hell Ride. Of course, you guys saw that I'm like obsessed with this shade. Oh my gosh, this color. This color is everything. I love it. Like, no lie, I would buy this palette just for this shade. And you guys see how pigmented that is? Like, just a couple swipes. I get so much color payoff. This color is gorgeous. I'm gonna go in with that first brush and steel shot and just blend out those edges. So I'm basically just applying that shadow steel shot along the edges of the shade Hell Ride. 
and just making sure everything is nice and blended. So just focusing right on the outer edge. Again, so just focus it on the outer part of Hellride and just blend it out. Ooh, maybe a brown. Like this shade Double Life down here, that may be really pretty. I may do that actually. I'm gonna go in and take a little bit more of that shadow primer before I apply my brown, kind of this, I'm not really carving the lid, but I do want to just provide the guideline for that shadow, because I do not want to carve the lid today, or do a cut crease today. So I think I'm gonna go in with the shade Double Light. Taking just a flat shader brush. <gasps> Woo! Oh my gosh, that color. Don't you just love whenever like, you envision the color combo and it just works out perfectly? That's how I feel right now. You guys, I can't. I can't. So for the outer portion of the lid, I think I'm gonna go with the shade Drift, which is also a metallic shade, but it's more of a charcoal gray. And just pack this on the outer portion of the lid. I'm gonna take the shadow brush and go with a little bit of the shade Breakaway here, which is a champagne color. And pop that on the high points of the brow bone. I'm gonna take a sweeping brush. This is the... Sigma Powder Sweep and just dust away that fallout. We did get a little bit, uh, mainly from the dark brown and uh, from Hillshot and what was that first one? Not the first one, Double Life. Nothing that can be easily swept away. Okay, for liner, I definitely wanted to do some color in the waterline to pair with this eyelid. So I'm gonna take the Alkaline Urban Decay Gel Glide On Liner and just apply this to the waterline. It is a really, really, really pretty deep burgundy shade. So now I'm gonna go in and smudge it out with the shade Hell White that we applied in the crease. Dust away that excess baking powder under the eye. I'm gonna just go ahead and spray my face with some setting spray. This is the Kiss New York Professional Pro Touch Setting Spray. It's oil free, it's long lasting and oil control. I spray a lot just to make sure that we get rid of all of that powderiness and that it doesn't look so cakey. So while that dries, I'm gonna move on to lips. For lips, I'm gonna take my Chestnut Lip Liner by MAC. I definitely know that I do wanna do a nude lip with this color combo. Now for lipstick, I'm gonna take the Dose of Colors, More Creamer Please. Now for lipstick, I'm gonna take the Dose of Colors lipstick in More Creamer Please. It is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite nudes. I love, love, love this shade. And its undertone is so gorgeous. Okay, there are the lips, and then I do want a little hint of gloss, so I'm gonna take the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Midnight Cowgirl. Y'all, I feel like I have been wearing this lip gloss like non-stop recently because it is so gorgeous. It's a really pretty nude lip gloss, but it does have uh, gold specks in it as well, so it's just so pretty. Oh, I love it, love it. I'm gonna go ahead and do my lashes off camera and come back with the final look. And of course, tell you guys my thoughts on the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. All right guys, so I went ahead and applied my falsies off camera. For false lashes, I'm actually using a new brand that I recently found at my local beauty supply store. And that is the brand Miss. It's Miss 3D Volume Lash in the style M360. Um, I believe it's like $4 at the beauty supply store and they're premium 100% silk lash. Um, and I love this style, you guys. It's very wispy and just very, very flirty. They're not too long and that they're not too long. So you can still see the eye look and it's not like overpowered by the lash. I'm gonna do one last thing on my eyes that is of course the inner corner. And I'm going to go back into the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. And I think I wanna take, I think I made this do Steel Shot in the inner corner. I mean, it's a really pretty, soft coral shade. Yeah, that's really pretty. Mm, that's pretty, but I think I want a champagne shade instead. So I'm gonna go with the shade Stranded and put that right on top. All right guys, and there you have the look. 
Um, in my opinion, it was actually really, really easy to do. I didn't really do any difficult or more advanced techniques. It was honestly just color in the crease. A little bit of primer to lightly carve out the lid, apply the color, you know, on top of that, and then apply a little bit of color on the outer V corner. Um, so honestly, very, very easy to do. Um, and I really, really like the result, you guys. Okay, guys, so that is it for my review and tutorial using the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. Um, and also using, of course, Urban Decay Shadow Primer, the Urban Decay uh, 24 hour glide on liner and also the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine lip gloss. Honest thoughts on the palette, I love it. I love, love, love it. I keep talking about how versatile the color range is and that's because you honestly don't find too many palettes with such a nice assortment of shades, especially one that has 21 shadows that you can honestly probably create at least 21 looks with. Also super pigmented, which is a plus. It blends out so easily, which is a plus. It also got very, very little fallout. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and demo and review of the Urban Decay Born This Way palette. Of course, paired with a couple other Urban Decay goodies. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.